help you along your way. Hey. Hey. Oh, the program, no, no, okay. It's the hot one. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of the day that's up for you. And welcome to the Daily Crumb with me. We just never ever said it quite. Yeah, your friendly, free hands, sweet grandfather, medicine woman. Uh huh. Also, Christiana Khan, Chris Khan, Superstar. Oh, this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome. All oh, you beautiful divine beings. Right here, too. How girls are with you? Hey, 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 it's a Wednesday. With, within Wednesdays, I would call it Wacky Wednesdays. Within, within, looking deep within the Wednesdays. Oh, no, what I said. Within yourself. I don't know what I said, what I will say to you. Okay, beautiful beings, here we go. Here we grow. Swing, 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 don't you know, don't you know. <laughs> right, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to have a little birthday party for myself this week because it's my birthday. <laughs> it's next Tuesday, the 25th. The 25th is my birthday. I'm going to be 49 years young. That's right, that's right. I say one year from golden. One year from golden. Woohoo! That's right. That's right. I will always be proud of my age. I am not somebody that says, you can't ask my age. I tell you. 49. No, I'm 48. I've been saying I was 49 for a while, but I'm only 48 right now. Currently 48. <laughs> Next Tuesday, I'll be 49. 49 years young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, the body feels like twice that. What happens? But what happens? It's all right. Well, that's what I get for like wanting to hurry up through life. I think I wanted to get to that part where I'm an adult, people take me seriously. <laughs> right, not treat me like a child. So do know I'm playful. I'm very playful. And yeah, so I'm naive. Pretty much as innocent as I look, I guess. I don't know. My mother used to like to say, she's not as innocent as she looks. Pretty much was. Well, I mean, it all depends on who you talk to. <laughs> and if they tell you the truth, right? Oh, goodness. Two just flipped off the top, and then we have the reflection on there. So we got them. Okay. Affirmation. Self-discipline is self-caring. M. Scott Peck set a one-word intention for the day. What do you want to accomplish? And that's the number one. One word for the day. What's your word for the day? What would you like to accomplish? Something inside to reconnect, uh huh? Because some of us ran so far away during a period of survival that we forgot to come back home to ourselves. Return home to yourself because you are safe now. Yes, you are. Lila Delia. Take a breath and smile. Because <sighs> you are enough yes you are there's nothing you have to do just be you yes so come return home to yourself no matter why we always we're always home here home we live in home we live on what is that for you return to that return to that little because that little still sitting in there we did a family sculpting thing in my spiritual psychotherapy and i volunteered at the front of the class and what I seen in that was how we got to pick up people to represent the different parts of ourselves. And I left my little sitting on all the memories. So I don't have very clear memory. I mean, that's part of uh, autism and too, the neurodiverse brain. And then, of course, trauma, PTSD, those kinds of things can uh, affect our memory and how we remember things. And our memory isn't like photographic. So we only remember the last time we remembered. The, yes, we only remember the last time we remembered. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. It was that for you? But there's some truth in that. There's there's studies. There's studies about that. The sense it's compartmentalized. 
right? The sights and smells and stuff go here, you know, physical sensations over here, right? And then to be able to draw those all up together again. I don't know, brain is quite the fascinating thing. Learn learn about it yourself there. So neurology. <laughs> that was a 35, which is an eight. Infinitely. Infinitely. We are home. Infinitely. You are enough. We are enough. Always. When I loved myself enough. There we go. Here's a reminder. I began leaving whatever wasn't healthy. This meant people, jobs, my own beliefs and habits. Anything that kept me small. My judgment called it disloyal. Now I see it as self-loving. Kim McMillan. Take a few moments to reflect on ways you loved yourself today. What did you leave behind that wasn't healthy? How can you love yourself today? What can you leave behind that isn't healthy? Hmm, 45. That's a nine, right? What was that other one? Was it eight? Eight, nine. Eight, nine. You're so divine. How are you going to spend your time? <laughs> Uh, oh, we're all sweated, sweated, sweated. Yeah, anybody want to come have a birthday party with me uh, Saturday? Saturday, dance around my yard. We can cook some dogs on the fire. I got two barbecues back there, but there's uh, no good. Uh, both need um, burners and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to pitch those. And then use the fire. We can have a fire as long as we're cooking on it. As long as we're cooking on it. So, cooking on an the oven fire. There we go. I love, just a little one in my backyard. I have a big, beautiful backyard. There we grow. One totem fell out already. So this is Saturday, the 22nd. Party at my place. I'm going to have a birthday party. Take the top one. There we go. It's spinning around. It's spinning around. There we go. And <laughs> look at that. There we go, little foxy. Foxy, there is a 25. The 25. It's the 25th. It's my birthday. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> 49. I'm going to be 49. I thought I saw something. Remember, thought I saw something. Anyways. <laughs> but we're coming out of our shells, right? We're not hiding ourselves no more, right? And that's how we make that advancement. Okay, because we're coming more of ourselves. We're returning home to who we are because we ran so far away for that survival, right? We are not our trauma. We start identifying by our traumas, but we are not our trauma. We are not what happened to us. We are who we choose to become, right? And you can align that with God's will, creators, whatever that is for you, right? That's up to you, right? And we're treating this as sacred space and respecting, respecting that body, okay? This one body, this one lifetime, right? Probably gonna get a different one, another one, whatever, however that goes. But in this lifetime, we get this one. One shot at this lifetime, maybe. I don't know, do we keep coming back and redoing the same one, like 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 a Groundhog Day? I don't know. What is that for you? Like, none of us really know until we get there. Oh, there's one on my thing too. That's how we create those cycles and movements. Because uh, we're respecting ourselves. Oh, no, this is the cup. This is the one that goes there. That was the top card. <laughs> top and bottom. We're respecting that sacred space. Look at that. Seven, eight. We're taking those steps. Seven, eight, nine. What was underneath that one? Because that advancement. Well, this is another eight. Seven, eight, eight. Eight, 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 eight. Infinitely, infinitely. You are always enough. Always, always, always. And there's that badger. We don't aggressively have to go prove who we are. We just need to be who we are. And that's how we create those cycles and movements naturally. Just forming in, because what we resist persists, right? We keep fighting to be something that we're not, or keep fighting to prove who we are. Just be who you are. It takes more time and energy to try and be something else, or to try and keep proving it, right? Then we start doubting ourselves if we think we have to prove that. Jaguar, impeccable integrity, embracing that unknown, but using that impe integrity impeccably, being you, and respecting that sacred space. Because again, doesn't mean everybody else is going to respect it. But when we respect it, right, it's going to show. I'm going to get that stamp. I respect myself. Don't fuck with me. Okay? <laughs> Instead of, I don't like myself. Come, losers over here. I don't know. Whatever that is for you. Okay. Let's stamp. I like myself. Don't fuck with me. Okay? <laughs> Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Fully, holy, and true. Don't let this world mess out. Not you. So glad you're here and you choose to stay ever, ever, every day. Hey, hey, hey. Don't let this world mess out. Not you. That's right. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. Love you all. <laughs> Wonderful, blessed day.
Thank you.